Okay, we're back. And here we are, in depths, about to head into the zig. I have stat form if I want it. And we may very well start doing stuff with that, but let's just keep training summonings. Um, wow, you can't, you can't LRD on naturally hard rock walls. It seems kind of silly since it doesn't break tiles anymore. Anyway, um, yeah, we're just going to get some experience. We're going to try to take, we're going to try to take summonings to 27. Do I want to drop some stuff? I guess not. Just keep, keep rolling with this. I had a thought that I, believe it or not, may want to switch to Zen for the orb run. I'm not even joking. It's not like we'd have any god wrath to deal with other than missing all this stuff. That would save me having to train throwing to feel safe against pan lords. But that's not really necessary, I don't think. Okay, now we gotta drop something. Uh, let's just let's just drop the vampire's tooth. Whoa, it's a pan lord. Um, dragon's call. Can't believe we we got no blink. We got the scrolls, but no blink spell. I'm going to APOC. Curious if that did anything to him. Oh, there it is. He's, yeah, he's slow. Okay, cool. Take a step away. We'll let the dragon finish him off. He had anti-magic attacks or possibly chaos attacks. Letting myself get hit by him was a mistake. But we didn't die, so that's fine. Uh-oh, Grasping Roots. Very dangerous. Some would argue incredibly stupid. Just very, very, very powerful. Almost makes me want to not play in Trunk, to be honest. But it's, um... It's not so bad, you know? At least it doesn't show up until... A lair branch. Obviously right now it's not a threat really because we're so late in the game, but it's essentially the enemy has Vile Clutch. It's very, very tough. Hmm. Would not be so fun if I got paralyzed. Which, if there's enough of those star curse masses around, you can get paralyzed. Whoa, chaos floor. Dragon's Call seems to be really doing some work. Uh, that's Thermic Engine. Very cool weapon, but I don't need it. Okay, that's that's good. Deflect Missiles is here. Hmm. Plus five evasion. Pretty interesting stuff.
I really need to drop some stuff. I should have dropped these rings before I came in here. I'm reticent to take away these defensive rings because I might want them, but I'll tell you what I will need is this thing. Yeah, we're not going to use Thermic Engine. I'm very happy with the extra MR that this rapier is giving me. A little late in the game to be switching, switching items around. I feel like there's something I'm forgetting. Well, maybe not. Okay. Okay, well, we've got Holy Word if need be. Why don't we go ahead and Apocalypse, though? You better not be canceling my Dragon's Call. Jeez, this is nasty. Um, dang it, okay, we gotta... Mm. Holy word it is. This is really bad. No way. He's even got Firestorm. Oh, that's ugly. Well, we got a haste. Oh, that's bad. Uh, do I have resistance? No. There's enough damage on the table that I could just die. I think I have to take a step over here. Order them to attack the Pan Lord. Take another step. Jeez. Certainly, I guess this certainly wasn't safe. Pop RF Plus in the place of Wizardry. Gosh, I wish I had more Holy Word to finish this dude. I think I'm going to use Ambrosia so that I can keep getting dragons. The real Hell Sentinel's dead, that's good. But this is way too dangerous. Nice, gone. And dragons finish that for me. That was pretty spooky. Um I guess any time you pop into a zig, you might find some crap like that. Dragon's Call down to 1% without wizardry. As it should be. You know, I'm about to hit 27. So, I'm going to drop Wizardry. I know it kind of takes away staff form from me, but it's, it's okay. I'd rather have another RF Plus, I guess. Well, that's interesting. That's another Send Ring. Hmm, I just noticed we had that star drain. 
potentially useful. I'll hang on to it. I want to do another floor. I'm unlikely to just get straight up screwed over by another Panlord floor, although if I do, then that would be a serious issue. I could just blink to the exit, though, and probably not die. Okay, this is great. See, Dragon's Call makes most of these floors relatively free. It's just anytime there's a pan lord, you know, anytime there's a pan lord that's very questionable on just about any character. Summoning still not 27. I said I'd go to 10. Jeez, no heal wounds though, except for one. And we're still mutated. So we don't get healed as much. I mean, we're, we're kind of lacking. We don't have haste. We don't have... There's a lot of stuff I'd like to have that I don't have. Let me put it that way. Deflect missiles was an excellent find. If we could get that online, that would be great. Panlord, of course. It is armed with a chaotic touch. Well, that's that's good to know at least. Apocalypse. Did it do anything to Pafintu here, the Pan Lord? He's slow. All right. Well, I don't think so. I think this is crappy enough that it's time to leave. Uh, summonings is mastered. Okay, sweet. Um, just dodging for now. Oddly enough, I haven't been tormented. I did get. I did get mutated. Doesn't look like we're missing much on this floor. Why am I even considering sticking around? This is insane. Let's leave. Alright. Okay. Well, we're now Malcolm Rose the Hellbinder, Octopod of Rue. If I swap to a good god, it would call me a Worldbinder, I believe, instead. Or maybe plane binder. In any event, we're done with Ziggs. Suppose I could go I could go do tomb. Which would be somewhat doable. I don't know, I I am tempted to try it. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe stat form, stat form throwing. I know it sounds crazy, but, well, I don't know. I really want to get stat form online is the thing. But it seems silly to do that without going on armed combat. I feel like the character just needs it though. Whatever, let's just do this for now. Alright. This ludicrous... This ludicrous cob... Tile here.
Um, I've screwed up badly. I've screwed up really badly. Uh oh. Can I go up? Yes, I can. Okay. All right. Uh, I could have gotten constricted there and just died. Thankfully, I did not. Yeah, so now we've got a real problem. We got a wide open Zot floor. And there's just too much crap. There's too much crap here. I pretty much have to have staff form now if I want to not die down there. So the decision is made for me. We're going to have to farm up some experience. these guys. And then go in, and then probably Apocalypse. I see we've unfortunately got a Tormentor here. Dragons. My dragons ought to do most of this work for me. Even while I'm getting tormented. Okay, Garyon's dead. Do I want to just leave? I think I want to just yeah, I want to just leave. Look at what staff form's already doing for me. Anybody who says that you shouldn't use it because it slows down your actions if you're a caster, imagine trying to do this without it. The APOC again. I didn't mean to staff form again, that was a misclick. Uh, do I want to leave? I might want to leave. Let's swing again. Let's swing one more time. Let's leave. I love this dragon's call. I guess I can, you know, I'm being silly with this apocking so much, like it's necessary. I can just stair dance this stuff, you know. We're not exactly awesome at melee yet, but we're gonna get there quickly. I'm living the dream, stat form octopode, you know, that's that's where you wanna end up, right? here. This is a lot of ice. That's okay. Whoa! What are we taking so much damage from? Fire giant skeleton. That's a little weird. I'll stamp for him up. I guess my AC isn't as good as I thought it was. Okay. We're just gonna fight this stuff while dragons do the work for us. Oh, it's it's corrosion, that's what's happening. Yeah, I'm getting hit a bunch. It's like how am I taking damage? I have so much AC. Well I didn't.
Well, that's vestibule. So the real question is, what are we going to do from this point forward? I suppose transmutations is coming along. Yeah, we got stat form at 8%. 33 AC, 19 EV. It's not terrible. It's not great either. I'm real tempted to try to do Tomb. It's not, it's not awful with staff form. I mean, it is still pretty bad because of the staircase situation. But we have four scrolls of blinking. So we could make it work, maybe. Eh. Let's just go to depth five. I have staff form. This, this should be okay. I'm going to try. Try to pull this up. Whoa, 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 why am I not, I'm not staff form anymore. Oh god. <laughs> it's because I got dispelled by a, was it the purple draconian? That was an actual quicksilver dragon. I need to pay more attention. I'm getting myself killed. Okay, I haven't been dispelled yet. Let's make a dragon. Let's apocalypse. Oh my god. The whole floor is coming. Of course it is, actually. I mean... It's not surprising, considering I just apocalypse, but... Still sort of annoying. Maybe I can fear some of this stuff away. Of course, as soon as a single shifter shows up, I'm going to have a bit of an issue. This draconian doesn't want to die. I'm actually attacking the one that's paralyzed, and it's just not taking damage because my unarmed combat's so low, I guess. Do I just go up and then apocalypse again? Suppose I could keep fearing, but who wants to do that? Four scrolls left. Hmm. I think we gotta go up. By the way, we have Arlek now and our poise, which might change my equipment situation. Oh, dude. I just realized I have Star Corrode, and now that I'm doing things in melee, that's real bad. Let's, um. Let's think on what other amulets we can use. We can go back to this Slate Plus 4 regen amulet. I would take that, that'd be fine. Maybe even magic regen, but I think this is this is good. Yeah, having Stark Road is not a good thing to have. You get you'll start getting screwed. That's what was happening actually in Hell, where I was taking so many hits. I assume some of that was from the amulet. That's fine, we're gonna put staff form back up. We got hit with the dispelling breath. Smack this guy. Of course it, it hits me again, that's terrible. Alright, we're going up. Goodbye. That dispelling breath, man. That's truly deadly.
start with an apocalypse. Dragon call. I need to kill this thing next to me. Good. Do we leave? Or do we do we stay? Well, with the golem dead, that's that's a plus. This is wild that we've got to fight the whole floor right here. And it was pretty much the only option from the start is the thing, just with this particular particular character. I'm just kind of waiting here. I almost want to stay on the floor rather than going up and getting my mana and whatnot back. Just because I've got I've got dudes on the ground, you know. Cast shadow creatures. I think it gave me more dragons. I was really concerned that a. Ugh. Yeah, well, that could happen. Get hit by a zot trap. It's ugly. Uh, or or a shifter could show up and I could end up with really terrible things around me. I think we gotta leave. How's this for a Zot one, huh? I could just keep pulling this stuff up. One dude at a time. Or two dudes at a time. And apocalypsing if things go bad. See, there it is. There it is. There's the shifter. Knew it was going to happen eventually. A little fear. Shift it again. I guess the shifter didn't get feared. Or maybe he did. No, I bet it's marked as a. Yeah, I bet Blink Away is, or rather Blink Range, nope, it's Blink Other. Yeah, Blink Other is marked as a panic spell or, or emergency spell or whatever. Therefore, it'll get cast even when it's fleeing. Time to leave. Well, I'm making this work. It's just slightly questionable, but I'm making it work. And even at this late stage, we're suddenly becoming half decent at melee, which is not really something I was intending to do. Can't complain though. missile. Alright. I don't think I'm ever going to want shadow creatures again. And then again, I don't really need summon forest either, do I? Summon forest is pretty good, though. It can do some tremendous AoE. Well, let's get rid of shadow creatures. Dragon's Call is just strictly better for the most part. Wait, 
wait, what? Okay, I didn't, I didn't mean to memorize Southern Butterflies, but I guess I'll take it. I wanted to get Deflect Missiles. There we go. We'll train some air, we'll train some charms. I guess charms is already seven. I'm staying out of staff form. Possible. And that's so my actions are faster. You know, if I'm not taking damage, there's no reason to be in staff form. Yep, it's just like I thought. Incredibly wide open floor. We've probably cleared. We've probably cleared most of it. most of it right there at the staircase. It happens. We lived, so I'm fine with it. Let's pull this guy up. Let's see if I can melee him. And I can. I hate that new tile. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Not sure how that got through exactly. I realize it's kind of like a joke enemy, but if it just looks bad looks out of place in the game. Oh man. I hate these shifters. I'm hating a lot of things I'm noticing about this particular game. And my deflect missiles is gone too. Uh oh. Well, let's fear to get the moth away. Let's make a spell forge server because they're great. Let's hoof it back to a staircase, yeah? Unfortunately, some stuff's coming in from behind. Guess what? I got... Oh no! Oh no! I power leapt. And do you know what happened? Bad things happened. Got shoved right off the staircase. Let's use might. Punch this guy in the face. Punch this guy in the face. Okay. We'll leave. By the way, we do have a lot of might. That's, that's excellent. Put D missile back up. Stat form go down. Come back up. Yeah, getting sent off staircases. I always say, I always say that depositioning effects are the most powerful thing in this game. Things that either stop you from moving, or specifically move you. That's the stuff that gets you killed worse than anything else, especially as a good player, because. Good players tend to, you know, if you're skilled, if you win a lot. Uh oh. Stat form. I will APOC this. Hold that thought. Okay, good. That was that was a quick orbifier. I like that. Let's keep training on armed combat. 
Um, yeah, so if you're a good player, you tend to be very good at positioning tricks, right? Stair dancing and, you know, just various things that stop you from being in a bad situation, or more importantly, staying in a bad situation. You will put yourself in situations that are not great because you know that you have an easy way out, or a guaranteed way out. Uh, if things suddenly stop being guaranteed, especially in a not-so-predictable manner, like a, um, a shifter walking, you know, out of the edge of line of sight, and then immediately pulling you off of a staircase, that can be very bad. I mean, you can anticipate that, of course, you know what branches have what depositioning effects, but even so, sometimes your character just doesn't have a good answer for it. Um, and sometimes it's not exactly possible to build that into the character. I could anticipate Swamp suddenly being a place that I just don't want to go into anymore um, because of how powerful Grasping Roots is, for example. Uh, it's pretty forgivable in Zot. It's so late in the game that these depositioning effects, I think, they're required to make this place challenging. And they've successfully made Zod a scary place to be. So that's good, but I think it's a little it's a little too much too early for Swamp, if you ask me. I mean Swamp, they added the the harpoon guys, um, the Swamp Worm was with the harpoons, and at first I wasn't so sure about that. But it's probably okay. Oh, hello. Well, that kind of sucks. Those, those aren't terrible mutations, though. We can live with it. I do want to clear this floor, though. Oh! Let's go up. Yeah, I don't mind being berserked. Not against that stuff. Hopefully you're enjoying this use of Dragon Call as much as I am. It's pretty satisfying to use, I'm not going to lie. Oh, we have two scrolls of acquirement. those. But on what? Are we gonna roll the dice on a hat again? I think we're gonna. Thirsty songs. Well that's interesting. That has Synv on it. It cuts my AC by a couple points. But it frees up one of my rings. Which could be more AC. Cancellation so that Contam doesn't own me. Uh, and then we'll pop on. Yeah, that's an overall upgrade. We lose a point of RC, I suppose, but who needs that? Can drop this as well. Good acquirement, finally. Okay, we'll acquire jewelry. Do I just have a straight up pro magic ring on still? I bet I don't. Um, all right, that's a strict upgrade to this. Our poise we get from staff form and the plus blink we can't use. I do wish we had a little more haste. OK, 
Okay, I put up Dragon Call before he zerked me. Seems to have worked out. Dragon's Call. Let's walk away from this garbage. I guess this is okay. This is not okay. He's got abjuration and he just abjured my dragons away. Dang it. Do I need the APOC? Or can I just. Yeah, there we go. Dispel Undead remains useful. Remains useful in Zot. Take out Ancient Liches. Take out. Curse to us really quickly. Wow, just shoved me right onto the Zot Trap. That was very cool of you. Just give me two different Zot effects from pushing me around. But hey, you know what? That's my fault. And it's because I didn't. I didn't position myself properly, so if I died there, which I don't think was possible even with paralysis, but let's say it was, that would have been my fault. Thankfully though, I'm not dead. What an irritating death that would have been though. Could you imagine? Good old Zot Traps, right? So we never we never went on the throwing plan. That never really materialized. Stat form's just too good. Too little too late now on Zot 4, you know. Unless I want to farm up a bit, and I may, I may still do that, you know? It is it is a thing I might do. Well, let's, let's just let the dragons do the job. Take out the orb of fire for me. Death, cursed toe, rather. Do I want to just blink? I almost want to just blink. This is a crappy little... This is a crappy little area. I'm going to roll the dice on a blink. Crap, it took me closer. Um, what to do about this? Fog. Teleport. Teleport's definitely a good option. Wow, he's... He just doesn't care about his buddies. He is throwing out the torments. Curse Toe's not dead, but my teleport has landed me into safety, so I'm 
I'm fine with this result. All it takes is a couple of Dispel and Deads to kill those guys. You know, with six potions of might and unarmed combat rising quickly, I think we're okay with when it comes to panlords on the orb run. At least I hope we'll I hope we'll be fine. Fine, rather. Uh, dang, I'm gonna use invis, which I should have done before. This guy's draining my mana. Quicksilver Dragon A. I only have one more fear. Let's save it. Really tempted to Berserk Rage. Not even joking. If this guy dispels me, we're in trouble. He missed me. That's good. Let's just whack him until he's dead. Come on. Come on, game. There we go. Significantly less worried now. We can take this stuff easy now. It's just that dispel breath. It's almost like a breath of instant death or near instant death when you're relying on stat form to stay alive, you know? Extra dangerous. Not dangerous at all if you're like a Mibi or something. Down we go to Zot 5. Magic map. Somewhat interesting layout. Got an Ancient Lich. Dragon's Call. Let's try not to take 144 times 2 damage on account of the slow stat form. <laughs> It's okay, we got him. The combo of Dispel and Dead End. Dragon Call. Wait, can you? Yeah, he could technically paralyze me. Let's just kill him with Dispel and Dead, though. I'll keep training unarmed combat up and fighting, and dodging. Got MR slash 2, that's not good. That's eh, that's fine. Sorry about the flashes. Um, that's to warn me about things like witches. And he's dead. Really, probably should take those off. That was a crutch I relied on that I don't really need anymore. Something to wake me up. You know what I mean? If something's on the screen that I really, really need to pay attention to. But nowadays I am generally on top of this sort of thing. Unless I'm playing too quickly. But that can kill anybody. Two of them. Not good. 
Not good at all. Let's draw a power. Well, that's one ancient lich. Dispelled the the lich. The first one's dead. The second one I dispelled, but he seems to have walked backwards. And this is hilarious. The guy, uh, the moth, raged my iron dragon. That's going to end poorly for his friends. Again, sorry about the flashes. And the ancient lich is dead. We've got a lot of ancient liches here. Shouldn't be stair dancing this stuff. Still haven't killed the cursed toe. enough. Dispel Undead really, really clears these dudes. Probably shouldn't let myself get berserked in case something else shows up, but you know. You never know. What could show up is what I'm trying to say. Which could teleport right next to me, you know? After being paralyzed from uh, Berserk. Servitor. Still letting my allies kill. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to swing. I was gonna say I'll let my allies take out the orbs of fire, but the positioning wasn't it wasn't really making it easy for me. Bring a magical power. We don't need that. I'm going to keep sort of exploring out here, hoping things teleport out and make my life easier for when I... Ah, there we go. Thank God, that generates a lot of flashes. I think I just told it to flash every time it sees the word Lich on the screen. So when something's a, something attacks an ancient Lich, <laughs> or misses, I guess, you get a flash. So, uh, if I give anybody epilepsy, I'm sorry. Or rather, if I zonk anybody out. But then again, I think that people with epilepsy generally avoid video games. It's very difficult to make a game with a lot of interesting effects, from what I understand. Graphical effects without risking... Affecting somebody with that disorder. Or maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. That's what I've heard though. Let's go ahead and roll up into the end vault.
Yep, there's a teleporter right there on the lung. That's probably where all those dudes were coming from. Hello! Uh, can I make a Spellforge Servitor? I tried. Did it just not show up? You see a puff of smoke, nothing appears to happen. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, why don't we fear... Take out the purple draconian. Take out this dude. Walk backwards, I guess. Now I'll make a spellforge servitor. Hmm. That's okay. Dragon's got the orb. Oh, and there's another one. Let's AA get some mana back and make another spell forged. Where did he go? View miscast. How about the luck on that? Well, let's use might. Smack that guy in the face and whoa! Wait, am I blind? What the hell? Orb of Fire blinks because of the green shifter. That's not what I was expecting to happen. Well, I have might. I want to fight this thing. Let's get the hell out of here. We're, we're having a rough time. Actually, we're not really having a rough time, but... That was enough. That was enough crap in a row that most characters would have had to use a lot more resources than I did. But Dragon's Call, pretty much, it's the problem solver, I guess you could say. More dragons. Spellforge Servitor. Wow. Yeah, it really does single-handedly resolve issues, doesn't it? I wish we had some potions of magic. That would make the orb run a little more reliable. We could just keep Dragon Call up pretty much the entire time. That would be cool. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm trying not to sneeze into my microphone, but it's kind of hard. <laughs> Really, I'm allergic to Zot. Or maybe just Orb Guardians. But hey, we're just about done. Octopode Chaos Knight. Probably one of the hardest combos in the game. Just cleaning up Zot 5 here. Not much left. Looks like it's pretty much empty. Right, let's do one more search around <clears throat> so I don't get so I don't get surprised by orbs of fire. And hey, I'm glad I did it. Isn't that good? I would have run into him on the orb run. Alright, I think that it's about time. It is about time. Read teleport. I was going to test something here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Eh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This teleport scrolls are a little bit randomized. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. Um, I'm just going to try to walk it up. Okay, this is... This is alright. The orb run actually got made more difficult 
recently. Or so I've heard. This is my first game since that happened. Got a little bit hurt there. That's, that's not good. Why don't we regen? Doesn't seem to be harder so far, but you never know. I imagine that good luck is still possible, you know. You know, Rue makes the orb run a lot easier. I've, I often forget about this. But the thing is that he, he makes it so stuff just doesn't act sometimes. So you can more easily walk away from from enemies. We're in the dungeon, so this guy's summon creatures will be terrible. Hmm. Didn't want to get mutated with teleportitis or something. end of the transformation. I don't want to be a statue if possible. Okay, here we are. We've got our first Panlord, D6, uh, and he's got a Lich, a Lich buddy with him. I'm just going to go over here, and I see that neither of them did anything, so we just go up. Didn't use Apocalypse, didn't, uh, didn't Dragon's Call, simply walked away, and sometimes Sometimes that's the right choice. I am going to Dragon's Call here. Okay. Let me think about this for a sec. Um, I think I'm supposed to fog. is okay. I'm just going to power leap here, turn on regen, and oh my, I'm actually at the end. I didn't realize I was so close or I probably wouldn't have power leaped. That's okay. We've got, I guess we don't have, I guess we don't get to have APOC for a while, but my exhaustion ended, so now I have it. I have it again. Um... Jeez, how do I get in here? This is a maze. I gotta go around this way. This is this is a very roundabout D1 taste again. All right, sweet. We win. Four runes, Octopode, Chaos Knight. Uh, I intend to make this, as I mentioned before, the first in a series of Octopode. Octopode wins. I'm going to try to do Greater Octopode, streak all of them. We'll see if I can actually pull that off. It may or may not happen. It's one of the tougher challenges. Um, I may I may start with all the, all the melee ones, but we did the hardest one first, so that's, that's fun. Um, not much more to say, you know. I abandoned Zom pretty early, which is, I believe, the optimal thing to do. And then I went straight for Rue, which was maybe not so optimal with some of the sacks I took. But it was a challenge, and we overcame it. So hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I am signing out. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Now you may not know this, but Bitcoin is a great passion of mine. If you want to help me out, and help yourself out in the process... Take a look at rosecrypto.com to learn about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. If you buy some Bitcoin using my referral links, you'll get an extra $10 worth of Bitcoin for free. And if you sign up for Binance using my links, I can teach you all about trading altcoins as well. Either way, please like and subscribe to help this channel grow. And if you really want to go the extra mile, take a look at my Patreon below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.